Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the concession stand here on the KB Radio Network. I am your host, Kevin Reed, and this is the review of the new black comedy psychological thriller directed by first-time filmmaker or first-time director, I should say, uh, Zoe Kravitz, Blink Twice. And this film stars Channing Tatum, Naomi Aki, Kristen Slater, uh, Gina Davis, and the list goes on and on. And this was a film that I, I wasn't, uh, you know, I'm not going to say wasn't looking forward to it, but it wasn't really on my radar as far as, ooh, I got to go see Blank twice. You know, it that, it wasn't in my zeitgeist like that. You know, it's one of those films, if I got the chance to see it, I will go check it out. And that's precisely what happened. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't nothing I was seeking out. It just so happened to happen. And I must say, for a film that I really had zero expectations for, because I had no earthly idea what this movie was about before I walked in to watch it. I just thought it was a black comedy, to be honest with you. But it was so much more than that. I was pleasantly surprised. And I guess the, one of the reasons I kind of shooed this film off before I saw it was the director and that wasn't fair because this is her directorial debut this is zori Cavett's first film as a director and i never gave it a shot you know it, it and that wasn't fair to her and i know i could have kept that to myself and never would have knew but I, I like to be honest on this show i just i did i never saw director in zoe kravitz but i do now she can direct this was a very competently directed film it, it was uh this movie has some a lot of flaws it has a lot of flaws but it, i think it would have had a lot of flaws no matter who the director was it, it was really the material but uh it had flaws but she really kept you uh grounded in the core story uh, you know the 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 reason why we were on this particular island which this film is set on and i was deeply impressed the way uh, this film was cut the way it was shot it was shot beautifully um some of the interactions with the actors and you know things of that nature she really knew how to cap of course she's an actress so she would know how to capture a actor or an actress in their good light <laughs> in their good scenes and how uh when to know to do a close-up when to know to get a two shot you know, a side-by-side -side shot. She knew uh, exactly where to place the camera at. And, uh, you know, zero complaints there. The premise to Blink Twice, uh, a tech billionaire, uh, 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 Slater King, who is portrayed by Channing Tatum, uh, meets a cocktail waitress, Frida, at his fundraising gala. He invites her to join him and his friends on this dream vacation on his private island. And so as... Things start getting strange um, <laughs> on the island. Uh, Frida starts to question her own reality. And that, that's basically the premise of this story. Like I said, I thought this was going to be like a comedy. And there there are funny parts in this movie. There's some scenes that are actually quite funny. But this is a dark, dark film, you know, as far as the subject matter is concerned. You know, we and I'm not going to get into spoilers because I want you to experienced it the way i did i did not know we were going that dark in this movie <laughs> to say it's a black comedy uh, but yeah <laughs> but that 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 proves the point what i was saying about zoe kravitz here she handled this situation well it could have came off very offensive and very or very cheesy or whatever the case may be if she didn't treat this uh, material with respect. And I think she did treat this particular uh, material with some respect, you know, um, in other people's hands, I can see where it would come off as cheesy and disrespectful. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to dance around it. I don't, <laughs> you know, I'm trying not to spoil it for you, but, um, and I'm probably being overprotective you probably already know what's going on, but I'm telling you, I didn't know when I went into this film, I did not know. But anyways, 
yes, this is a very uh, 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 dark film. Darker than I expected, but enjoyed it nonetheless. The cast here, this is some of my bugaboos with the film. Is not the cast per se, it's the writing. Their dialogue is so wooden, wooden at times that it kind of takes you out of the film. Uh, Naomi Aki, who is the star of the film, she plays Frida here. I've seen her in multiple things in the past, and she's an excellent actress. I, I liked her in this role. I really did, but at points she was kind of silly, and it came off as a little too silly at times. And then when it got super serious, she handled that. But we, then we'll have to go back, and this is where the black comedy comes into play when they got to put on, her and another actress had to put on this facade like they weren't hip to what was going on. <laughs> and it was it was so silly. And I'm like, and are they really buying this, or is this just, you know, part of the movie? Are we supposed to believe that they're that stupid or whatever the case? And I'm, they who was on the island, not Frida and the other girl. It was, it was just, it just took me out for moments. But overall, I did like her in this role. Channing Tatum, this is the year of Channing, man. Channing shocked the world as his, well, not his return as Gambit, but we finally get to realize and see him as Gambit in Deadpool and Wolverine. And now we see him in this film. Whereas Deadpool and Wolverine was a pure, nostalgic uh, uh, nerdgasm, you know, for all of us nerds who love X-Men, who love all these comic book films, to see him in that role. This was more of a dark turn to a character that was very complicated. You know, you're supposed to like him at times, and you're supposed to hate him at times, and Channing Tatum does a great job of balancing it out. In, in, that's the best way I can describe his character without going into spoilers. He 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 really does an excellent job. This is probably one of his best acting performances. I, I make no bones about it. I, Channing Tatum. I just started getting into Channing Tatum, maybe in the past three years. You know, prior. Well, I, that's not fair. I would say since Twenty One Jump Street. That's when I started liking him, and it was some few. A few films in between there, uh, but I never was a like a Channing Tatum guy because I I didn't too much care for his acting. But as time has gone on, he has shown that he is fully capable of being a Hollywood leading man, and this was an awesome performance by him. In case you don't know, a little behind the scenes here, him, um, Channing Tatum and Zoe Kravitz. Uh, the director of this film are engaged in real life. So it, it's good to see um, them working together. And obviously they got a good working relationship as well because uh, she got a real good performance out of Channing Tatum. No doubt about it. The rest of the supporting cast, I didn't care for. They were so underwritten and they were just set pieces to me. And there, there's some good actors and actresses, in this supporting cast. Like I said, Gina Davis is in this movie. Gina Davis, man, <laughs> she popped up in this film. Uh, Joe, uh, uh, oh Lord, I see dead people. What's his name? Haley Joe Osmond. Hey, he was in this movie, you know, Christian Slater is in this movie. There, there, there are some really good actors and actresses in this film, but they are underwritten. Those characters are underwritten and didn't do much for me. Um, Another part of this film, another element of this film, which is pretty much my last beef with it, it's the end of this movie. The ending fell flat to me. I didn't like the ending. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why they chose to end the movie like they did, but it it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work for me. And it was going so well. The movie was going so well. It, it just kind of fell apart at the end. It, it kind of convoluted. And I don't know. I guess it could be just me because I was kind of expecting a different ending than what we got. It it just didn't satisfy me. But you know, it made sense. I guess move in in the 
world of the movie and the universe of this film, but it to in reality, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it just didn't work. Uh, but overall, overall, I can honestly say I am shockingly surprised on how good this movie is. It's still good. It it was a good film, uh, a watchable film, uh, opposed to some other films <laughs> that came out this year that. I will never watch again, but I can say I w- I would watch Blink twice a second time <laughs> if need be. Blink twice, directed by Zoe Kravitz, uh, starring Channing Tatum and Naomi Aki, gets a letter grade of a C. Yeah, it's it's, it's average, and, and and it's a very very good directorial debut by Zoe Kravitz. Um, I'm looking forward to more films of her. Uh, from her uh, directing prowess, if you will. I would love to see her behind the camera more. And in front, she's an awesome actress as well. And it's good to see her behind the camera flexing her her, her, her directing muscle, if you will. Uh, but I would love to know, what did you think of Blink Twice? Did you blink and keep, keep your eyes closed while you was watching it? Or did you enjoy it enough to recommend it like I am? Email the show, kbradiopodcast at gmail.com. You can also search for the show on all social media platforms. Just search for the KB Radio Network. Search for the KB Radio Network channel on YouTube. And like this video if you don't mind. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate the support on YouTube. I just got to shout that out. Uh, Y'all are doing an excellent, excellent job of keeping this show relevant over there. And I cannot be more appreciative uh words can express it that's all i can say um also don't forget about the five stars the reviews and sharing this show if you're listening on apple Podcasts, spotify iheart radio wherever you are currently listening to the concession stand here on the kb radio network everybody thank you for joining me for this review of blink twice here on the kb radio network i want you all to know that i love you Continue to love everybody, and until we speak again, you all be blessed.